And finally, we're going to minimize the cost based upon changing these decision variables that we have entered here. And to do that, we're going to use the Solver tool in Excel. So we'll go to the Tools menu, click on Solver, and I will move this so we can see it. And now we can start entering information into this dialog box. The first thing that we want to enter is the objective function cell. That's what set target cell is referring to is your objective function. And our objective function is located here. So we just click on it and it automatically enters that in. Now because it's a cost function, we want to minimize this value. So click on minimum or min. The next thing that we enter is the decision variable cells. That's what goes in the changing cells is the decision variables. And those are located in this matrix right here. And I'm just going to click and drag and it's going to automatically enter in all of these into the changing cells. You see it entered it in as a range with the colon in between. The next thing that we need to enter are the constraints. And to enter a constraint you simply add a constraint. And we need to add each of the supply constraints and each of the demand constraints. Uh, I'm going to do the supply constraints individually and then show you an easy way to do the demand constraints all in one go. So first we'll do the supply constraints. The cell reference is the function that computes the actual of value or the amount of supply that we've used up. And we want that to be less than or equal to the available supply which is found on the other side. So this one is just referring to the Kansas constraint of supply. Click OK. And then we want to add another one. Click Add again. The cell reference will do the Denver supply constraint next. Less than or equal to the constraint that's plugged in is 8,000 trailers. We're going to click OK again. Now we're going to click Add. Select the left hand side. Select the right hand side. Make sure it's less than or equal to because that's the constraint. Click OK. And now I'm going to show you a quick way to do an entire row or a column. You'll probably be upset because you could have done this the whole time. But anyways, click Add. And instead of selecting one cell reference, I'm going to select the entire row of cell references as to where those summed demands are. And then we're going to click out the equal sign because the demands need to equal this amount. And the constraint, I'm going to also use the row. So click and drag on the demand row entries and click OK. And so this is going to act as if we had entered each one individually as we did for the supply constraints. Just a shortcut. And now for the options, we need to make sure that assume linear model is checked and assume non-negative is checked. And they are, so we're good to go. Click OK. And the last step is to click Solve. And I'm going to click it. And then it asks, Solver found a solution. All constraints and optimality conditions are, are satisfied. So we found an optimal solution. We click OK. And you can see that it automatically changed our decision variables to ship appropriate quantities to the appropriate locations. It also computed our cost. And we know that it's the minimum cost because it said that it was. And that is how you use the solver button to solve a transportation problem. And now we're done.